you know, overall there was a, uh, <clears throat> uh, that's a team that can put a lot of pressure on you and, uh, and it, they can force you into making quite a few errors. It's a really good blocking team and uh, a good serving team, good passing team. And um, uh, I thought we did a really good job tonight of keeping our errors to a minimum. Uh, we were under 10% attack errors, uh, which against a really good block team is, uh, is pretty low. Uh, we only got blocked three times uh, this evening. Uh, I thought our hitters uh, were patient in hitting good shots and uh, hitting and work in the areas of the court that uh, uh, that they felt like they could score. Uh, I thought Oz was was really really great at the net, and like she said the other day, she's at 98 percent healthy, and so we're getting there. Um, but Jay's actually 99. 99 Woo! now, yeah, yeah. It's a uh, uh, the Eagles flying high. And, um, you know, Frank got on some long service runs there for us. The second set, uh, we made quite a few errors, but what we didn't do was make two errors in a row. And uh, if, if, if you don't make two in a row, you've got yourself an opportunity to, to win it. And, uh, uh, and so after an error, we got right back and, and made a good play and, and uh, kept extending that set, and that was, that was big. Uh, fell behind in the third set, um, you know, and we didn't panic. We just kind of stayed together and just kind of worked through it. That's something that we weren't we weren't doing earlier in the season against good teams uh, that we d did tonight. And uh, when you're patient, you stay together and you don't panic and you just kind of uh, play cleaner volleyball. Then uh, then you put yourself in a position like what we were able to there in the third set. Sarah, I guess I just want to get your thoughts. Um, I think if you look at the play by play at the end of that uh, second set, it just says it was a Franklin kill and a Franklin ace, but it seemed like a lot more happened there. Just how do you describe that kind of ending to the set and kind of what's just stood out to you about, you know, those two points? I think the end of sets are a time that a lot of us thrive. We're able to really like just kind of play volleyball. That's the, our favorite part because, you know, it's so – it's right there. It can go one, one way or the other. And I think it just goes to show how everyone works so hard to get the next ball better. And that puts me in a really good position to hit the shots that I need to hit. So I think that's really a team effort, and it just goes to show that at the end of sets, no matter what the score is, we're going to be balling out. Did you know that overdig was going to hit in and that your sir was going to crawl over? I was, I dug and I was just on the floor praying. I was like, please be in, please be in. And then as soon as the serve hit my hand, I was like, oh, it's going to be close. And then I saw it hit the tape and I was like, ah, it's a miss. And then somehow it went over and I was like, yay. Uh, <laughs> yay. <laughs> no one else. Love it. Yay. Uh, Eula, you, you've always been a <clears throat> kind of move the ball around scorer. Do you feel like you've even expanded that game or um, perfected it to another level? I feel like I can be more consistent, and I have definitely more control of that. And my rep repertoire. Repertoire, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Repertoire. Yeah. Repertoire. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Got even wider. So it's nice that I feel like I'm, I'm fully in control and I'm able to repeat shot after shot. And if I see the weakness or... If we talk about something before the game, I'm able to go there and kind of repeat that shot. It's so fun to watch because you can just see the other team, like their head is spinning because they have so you have so many shots that they're just like, oh, well, she hit that shot. Oh, she hit that shot. So it's so fun to watch. Um, Kelly, as far as um, players getting swings, your outside hitters got the, the bulk of them tonight. Kind of a different look again. Was it something um, – about how they were playing that maybe led to opportunities for, for these two maybe more than, you know, than other nights or just other, other thought, players rather? I thought Charlie did a really good job. It's a, um, uh, they, they really, especially when their opposite is in, they, their block is as bunched as, well, most, most bunch that I've, that I've seen and probably what we'll see all, all year long. They're very aggressive in getting in on the quicks. 
Um, and so, uh, you know, and then there, then especially the right side blockers are chasing. Uh, and it's one of the things that uh, Oz was doing a really good job was she was going after their outside hand. And she got quite a few tool shots on late arriving block. And so she was seeing that and then at times getting up and over and into space. And, and um, you, you know, the, the, the choices that Charlie were making was primarily how they were wanting to defend. And that's one of the, it's one of the advantages, uh, I think, Sarah was talking about this uh, last night, I think, or Devin was talking about it last night, is, um, you know, we've got a lot of weapons, and, and if, if somebody's going to go and try to take something away, then fine, we've got, we feel comfortable being able to go to some other players. And, uh, but tonight that was more of a product of how they were wanting to defend. And, uh, you know, if you're thinking about it like football, they weren't going to let us run it right up the gut. And so we went long to these guys, and, uh, uh, and they scored. That's football. Awesome. Thank you. First and 10, Wisconsin. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kelly, you've, you've done a number of different combinations with your middles and <coughs> right side mm -hmm. over the season and mm -hmm. just even in the last several matches here. Is it – Health related, matchup related, um, just trying to keep everybody fresh and active. And how do you feel like it's working? Well, I mean, we swept a really good team tonight, so I would say that um, uh, you know we've got a lot of confidence in in our players, and um, you know tonight we flipped these two. Uh, typically, but we've done that a few times, right? And um, and uh, of how they've started and, uh, you know, they both have the ability of, of being in, in our L1 or L2 spot and, and, uh, and our middles have, uh, have different strengths and different uh, abilities. I, I love the fact that, you know, CC came in and, um, you know, picked up a couple kills, got three blocks, but it was a um, uh, more important. She was getting really good touches on their quicks. And uh, we're having a tough time slowing down their quick attack. Uh, they, they're athletic. They, they have great vision. They get on the ball pretty quick. And uh, she came in and got some really positive touches uh, that we transitioned off of and, and, uh, and, and got some critical points off of that. And that's one of the th things CC does really well. Sarah and, and you uh, kind of piggyback off that. The last um, last set percentage wise, hitting percentage wise, was A and M's lowest. Uh, what do you think? You know, you, you and your teammates was they were able to tighten up in that final set that you know helped make that happen. Some of the cues that we were talking about was just being more dynamic as blockers and then being able to dig around that. So I think defense did a really good job of digging around the blockers, and blockers were just up really fast so we could dig around them. So I think we just cleaned that up towards the third set. Yeah, and I think the big part was just CeCe coming in and slowing down the, the middle, who was starting to get kind of hot. So it was a big contribution. Kelly, uh, it's any special inspiration on the 21st of September? Mm -hmm. I, saw, I saw you dancing. <laughs> it's um, uh, I, the number of text messages I got uh, this morning from these knuckleheads uh, on the team. It was probably half the team it was asking me if I remembered what 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 day it was. Um, Will you remember tonight? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's uh, blue skies and yeah, everything. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sing this for 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 the media here. Yeah. Yes, Kelly. Do it for the people. Na, na, na. Come on, Kelly. Okay, remind me how that goes again. See you Wednesday. 